shares of Disney falling today after the media giant pulled its TV channels, including ESPN and ABC, from Charter's cable system Spectrum after the two companies failed to reach an agreement over contract fees. Yahoo Finance's Alexander Canal joins us now with more. And how does this get resolved, Ali? And that's a big question, Akiko, and it's pretty significant, this back and forth. And just for some background here, Charter, which has nearly 15 million subscribers and is the second largest cable provider in the U.S., they were airing the U.S. Open, the one of the first college uh, football games of the season, Utah versus Florida. And all of a sudden, right in the middle of that action, that was pulled. So a lot of angry sports fans there. And the conflict, it stems from Charter alleging that Disney has insisted on higher rates and limited flexibility, arguing that its proposal will lead to, quote, unsustainable price hikes for consumers and would force users to pay for channels they might not want or can't even afford. Charter said it actually proposed an alternative model in order to create better value for consumers, but that Disney rejected it and then subsequently pulled those channels, which does not only include ESPN, also the Disney Channel, Freeform, National Geographic, as well as local news stations on the ABC network. Now, in response, Disney, which we just got this response about 20 minutes ago, said Charter refused to enter into a new agreement that reflects market-based terms, writing in part, contrary to their claims, we have offered Charter the most favorable terms on rates, distribution, packaging, advertising, and more. So, Again, a lot of back and forth, but it's worth noting that these issues surrounding carriage fees, otherwise known as the fees that pay TV pro providers pay to networks in order to carry those channels, they've mounted in recent years, especially as we've seen linear TV viewership decline, uh, more folks moving over to streaming platforms. And amid that phenomenon, we've heard from analysts that say linear TV is essentially dead at this point. So for Charter, the stakes couldn't be higher. They don't want to lose any any more subscribers, but it, the stakes are also high for Disney. This is a company that has seen its stock struggle significantly. There's a lot of other challenges. They're bleeding money on the streaming side. So there's just this push and pull here. Ultimately, we heard from Tim Nolan, um, an analyst that said he thinks the issue will be resolved because the stakes are high for both sides, but TBD when that will be. And we're seeing other entertainment companies like Paramount Global, Warner Brothers Discovery being dragged down with their share prices as well on the heels of this news. And Ali, this is just the latest trouble here for Disney, right? We've been talking for a while now about the trouble that it faces with the Hollywood strike. Obviously, has had an impact on the company there. But when it comes to the Hollywood strike, we actually started to see it reflected in this most recent jobs report that we got out this morning. What did we see there? Yeah, for the first time, we're finally seeing the impact that the strike is having on job job numbers. And according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment in motion picture and sound recording industries decreased by 17,000 reflecting strike activity. As we know, the writer strike is about to enter its fifth month. It will soon be month two for the actors on the picket lines. And there's currently no end in sight after studio negotiations hit a stalemate last week. So likely even more job losses ahead. And we've also been hearing about the economic hit as well. Kevin Cloudin, he's chief uh, global strategist at the Milken Institute. He was on Yahoo Finance Live earlier this week, and he upped his projection to $5 billion. That will be the hit to the U.S. economy that's up from the prior $4 billion as we see more movie delays, as we see more TV cancellations, and primarily as we see lost wages. So this story surrounding the strikes, it also leads to the stories that we're hearing about the economy and the jobs and, and what we're seeing in the labor market. So it's all connected, all related. We'll have to keep tracking this the longer it goes on. Ali Canal with the roundup there. Thanks so much for that.